Guys, I did a bad thing. Ooh. I wasn't gonna vlog. Uh, not yet anyway, I was gonna vlog in a few days. There's a few more episodes that are being made, but hey ho, this might be fun. I went and really fucking hurt myself. Absolute fucking key. Oh. Absolute fucking key part two. So I was deadlifting today. Now for context, I've been having a little niggle with my TFL. That's a little muscle at the side of your hip and that leads into uh, the fascial band down the side of your leg. Now I've had an irritation with my TFL that's been irritating the rest of my leg. So my right leg's been a bit of a dick. While my right leg's been a bit of a dick, oh, I'm, I'm not being weird. While my right leg's been a bit of a dick, um, it's not been pushing properly in squats and I've also had SSB in my program. Now I'm conscious now that I probably should have made this change sooner, but here we fucking are. It's what happens when you don't have a coach. Hashtag DVD. So anyway, I've been doing my SSB work and I've been still trying to maintain it, but because my right leg's not pushing, I'm going through a bit more extension, I'm pushing more on my back and minor niggle that I was marginally aware of. Anyway, I go in today to do my deadlift single, single at seven, followed by three sets of five. Been really enjoying this session. So I did my 250, insert clip here, and it probably looks okay, but it felt concerning. So halfway up, I feel this big pulling, tearing, and loads of cracks sensation. Kind of like you, when you crack your back all at once, but all in my SI, sacroiliac joint, SIJ, on the right hand side. And I was like, oh fuck. Well, there's no pain yet, but that's gonna ache. Normally when a joint moves under force, that, that causes pain eventually, or at least a pain symptom, inflammation, discomfort. And I was like, well, that's fucking sore, but all it is is I've clicked my back and my SI clicks from old shit anyway. So I was like, right, well, let's just start moving. I have a master's in rehab. I know the shit to do to calm the fucking thing down. Okay. And I'm like, right, we'll strip it back. That 250 was fine, but I don't want this to start hurting. Have I put this on right? The best results. I think I put it on the wrong way around. I stuck it to the wrong thing. So I then try to start getting into my back offsets. But what I do is I strip all the way down to 70 kilos and I start just going through the movement and being like, right, is this problem or not? And honestly, 70 felt fine, 120 felt fine, 170, fine for one rep. So fuck it, 190, let's do the set of five, see how that feels, call it from there. Pull one rep, no issue at all, we're in. Pull the second rep and the pain was unbelievable. Now in hindsight, I could have just left it there, but I honestly think this would have come back and bit me anyway. I'm fucking gutted. So it goes in a big way with a huge amount of pain um, and I can't walk properly and I can't use my right leg properly. And now it's still calming down. It's been several hours, I'm pretty active on getting it fixed. Injury sucks and I'm accepting I'm now injured again. Now I'm gonna be really completely honest with this. I'm really miserable. I don't seem it because I'm so delightful. Eve, I swear to God, if there's a sarcastic thing there. That's suspicious. That's weird. Now I'm miserable because I'm trying really hard. I work very, very hard at my job, but I work very hard with my training and I cannot emphasize how much it means to me. I'm a decade in, I love this shit. So when something like this happens that the initial event isn't anything directly avoidable, I trust me, I've tried to do bits about it. It's just upsetting and I'm very frustrated. So now onwards, I'm gonna do rehab work and I'm gonna get this fixed. And I refuse to fucking go backwards again. To some extent, I am sensible and so I will do the sensible things. So maybe this vlog will continue tomorrow. I've had a hot bath, I've done mobility work, I've uh, just tried to teach my body that the movement isn't dangerous. It's the biggest thing about pain symptoms. The pain signal is your body scared of the range that caused the pain in the first place. If you don't use that range, it closes off. Biggest thing, use the fucking range. So, here we are. Now I'm gonna have some sushi 
I'm gonna chill out and trying to reduce my stress for the evening. I've been working 14 or 16 hour days. Shock horror that I got hurt. And I thought it would just be good to be transparent that this fucking sucks and I'm genuinely upset, but now I do the thing that I preach, which is do everything right, you'll be back faster than you expect. Do everything right, you'll be back stronger because there's now a weak link and you need to be very aware of it. Ugh. It's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna have my fucking sushi. We'll see where this picks up tomorrow. I don't fucking know. All right, you're on. It's happening. Uh, I dropped my mushroom. <laughs> oh no, there wasn't mushroom. There's no room for the mushroom. Okay, you missed the pun. How are you? How was watching me break in half today? Uh, sad. Sad and stressful, and I don't know what to do to help. <laughs> How are you feeling about your training, at least? My training? It's pretty good. Um pretty good. I'm just scared to have to switch to no knee sleeves. Um, yeah. The end. <laughs> Thin. Ask, ask me again. Ask, from, ask specifics. Okay. What have you done in training recently and what's coming up that's exciting? Recently, so I'm on singles for squats and deads, but also like uh, bench as well. But I often have a single and bench anyway. Um, I've got probably quite an exciting single on deadlifts next week. So it'll be my last big pull before the taper. <sighs> my rep work is better though. There's a reason you don't have a vlog. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what did you do on the deadlift? Why was it exciting? Tell them. <laughs> what did I do? You pulled 175 at a seven. Yes, I did that. That was very good. Your squat's going pretty well this time round. I haven't fucked it an overshot yet, which is Progress. a big win. Um, but again, no knee sleeves at the comp. I'm quite nervous. What's it like being the only successful athlete in the relationship? <laughs> I have no successes to my name. True, you're a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no. 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 Will you put your hip in my butt? Uh, <laughs> start again. Will you put... Mug two. Will you put your elbow in my butt? Please. I'll put it in your butt for you. That's <laughs> real love. Thank you. This is not what we teach people on the podcast. Vlog. What are you doing? I'm eating. <laughs> uh, that's not quite right. All right, it's day two and it still fucking hurts. But well, I also look more like shit now. It's about 10.30, dropped off my car down at the services. That's done. Uh, it needs to get seen today for whatever fucking reason. Um, and also just launched Threads. Uh, well, I didn't launch it, that'd be sick. But launched using Threads, new app on Instagram uh, while doing some admin work and yeah, mobility bits. So I've managed to get the SIJ to uh, mobilize. Normally you'll see people like try to self-mobilize it and you'll get a big clunk. Um, it's been because everything seizes around it. It didn't really want to move, but I've managed to get it to do that It was <laughs> uncomfortable, but we've got some movement back which this is the first step So I can get up and down which is progress last time. I did something like this. I couldn't even walk um, body weight movement is I mean my heels are not on the floor, but that's progress and my tolerance for pain is pretty high So the goal is to keep doing the same stuff keep doing the really basic boring bits now If you have been injured, I can tell you your first 24 hours tells well someone like me a lot about what's gonna happen next for you um, You do absolutely fucking nothing and complain about it. It's gonna suck for a little while this I reckon I'm gonna have this working at least functioning to be able to squat by tomorrow today I've got bench that should be fine or at least I fucking hope so. So that's me putting on another heat pack just to try to maintain that, um, like loose, allow me to get some blood flow into the area. Gotta be wary with inflammation, like it can build up fast um, and then you end up with a lot more problems or you can try to just freeze it and you create the same issues. It's a nice middle ground of fluctuating that. Remaining kind of positive. Uh, 
That's a lie. I'm really pissed off still. Like the psychological element is really important to address. I'm furious that I work this hard and I keep getting hurt and I'm doing sensible shit. But it's going to be the, the means to create change. Um, and which is why right now I'm gonna start writing my program uh, and I'm gonna be building on Notion. That's a whole separate thing, but I'm trying to move my brain onto new software. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when I burn it down. Me again. Okay, let's do that. Boom. Different lens. So I'm just going through all of the media and stuff. Now, I don't know if you guys know or are paying enough attention because boy is proud. So this is TikTok, which I am running on top of Where's the other stuff? Sourcing out all the stuff for YouTube. So all of the videos for the podcast and the vlogs all go here, plus Spotify, all the episodes and them going up on here. Then all of the shorts that I'm making from every video. Uh, and of course, then you'll see all of this Ooh. that goes on Instagram. Plus we put out all the elements on Instagram as well. Good fucking Lord, everyone calm down, breathe. Sick. That'll do. So everything goes out on Instagram too. This is probably the most frustrating part of uh, the job. And as Eve knows, I'm trying to get her more involved. Um, in fact, we're trying to get Eve to reduce her days per week and come work for me more. So what the actual aim is, all of this media, all the shorts, all the bits, all the vlogs, the vlogs will be way more um, so that I can just, I can take some off my plate and I can do all of my work. And there's a lot more that we're trying to do. Hey, that was just finished processing. Um, but this is what I'm running on top of obviously all of my coaching, all of the Thrive work, um, all of the brand stuff that I do all at the same time every single day, which is why my days have not been shorter than 14 hours in a little while. So I've just sat here for a couple of hours. I should probably get up. I'm gonna go do some mobility bits. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be really boring. Okay, this is mostly for accountability because I don't wanna do this shit, which is like, 20 bodyweight deadlifts, 20 bodyweight squats. Um, and I'll be honest, it still really fucking hurts. So the aim oh, is just to introduce the range of motion that my body no longer wants to do because that's how pain signs and pain signals work. Your body attributes a moment of pain, motherfucker, um, to a mechanic that you should no longer do. So I cause a lot of pain in this position. My body is now going to associate that position with pain. This is where people get repeat injuries, but mostly fear and then compensation systems. So all I'm trying to do is continue through that range, allow my body to know it's a safe range of motion to be in, um, and then it should allow me to reduce some of the, not only the pain symptoms that I'm getting, because that signal will be cut off, um, oh, but to then also allow my body to move through that range comfortably. See, pain more often than not comes with the associated body constriction. Like this is where you get all of the inflammation and then everything feels seized up because you don't move through that range and your body thinks it shouldn't. So all I'm doing is moving through that fucking range. I'm gonna shut up and you're gonna probably want to fast forward this next bit. Okay. Whew, I am fucking unhealthy. So that's enough of that shit for now. I'm gonna shower in a second. I'm gonna try and stay on my feet a little bit more today. It's weird having a wide angle lens. MTV, welcome to my crib. Um, Wait a minute, who are you? Oh, motherfucker. I hate this stuff so much, but honestly like, A, it's only me that's responsible to make the change, and B, it's only me that's gonna have to fucking deal with it. Except for Eve having to listen to me complain. Don't, don't, don't do it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have a shower. I'm not gonna bring you for that. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah. Do a simp. Okay, so at this point, uh, the back pain is pretty significant, but uh, I'm just gonna try to figure out. Fortunately, I have Larson Veg and I can't go into extension, so I can't set up. So we're gonna unrack from like a hook laying position and see what we can do. Rachel's gonna have to do all my lifts. She doesn't know that yet. Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> Flat bench kind of day. Oh, motherfucker. 
I think we can arch. If I'm gonna risk it, I'm arch. Let's see what happens. Oh. Well, it doesn't change much, but we're going to do it anyway. 80 kilos, it's a fun rack. Can't arch, but I think that means the TikTok trolls will likely more. Oh. I will need to lift out on like everything. There's also my signal's not working. Nothing's loading. I mean, it's only Nathan, so who cares? That's on camera. <laughs> may, may I? May I fail this bench? Ow. I mean, I don't think I need to. I really think I'm better off here because the pain it's causing. It's just a, it's definitely a bigger hole than this one, but that's it, it's a bit Yeah. I think it's, I haven't finished. You don't, that wasn't the same. <laughs> that was it. Oh. Are you still love me in a wheelchair? <laughs> oh, she left. Three. I didn't know you weren't going to put your legs down. I told you I wasn't going to on that set. It's the problem is my feet down. Right, okay. <laughs> what bit do you think I was not going to do? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the, it. The bench? <laughs> I counted you in and everything. Huh? I counted you in. I can't hear you. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had your knees gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty shit. I'll leave it there. <laughs> that was pretty weak. Okay, so in all honesty, that was a bit shit. But oh fuck, I've got two sets. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's still heavier than last week. All right, I'm gonna stop being a bitch. I'll take one more double at 120, which tries to make it a little bit better. And then I've got a three by eight, which I'm not gonna put my feet down because the setup is cane in my back. 120 at a seven. I mean, that's a 140 last one, but that's still pretty weak. I'm gonna I'm work on this. On my way, 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 on my way. The whack ass locals say the most, do the least okay. Talk behind my back to my face in a people okay. But that be outrageous, admit you did the least okay Step out to the nines, my three piece ain't got a crease okay It's okay, it's okay Kill on them capiche okay I be damned if I just made my money over beats okay Frito Lay Oh, okay What's up? It is day two of this rehab shit um, Today's bad I woke up in quite a lot of pain um, yesterday wasn't great either to be honest, but it was sitting around a 3 out of 10 pain. Um, my intent is to just try to reduce it day by day. Yeah, I'm not dressing this one up. This is annoying me now. <laughs> this is miserable. So, bodyweight squats, bodyweight deadlifts. I'm trying to ease this off. I should have done more before I went to bed. I think that's why I didn't sleep so great, but it is what it is. Only... Oh, fuck me. Other problem I'm having is that the front of my leg is seizing up. I'm not sure why. That's not normally what I would consider an associated symptom oh, of the lower back damage. Preventative mechanism, maybe? I don't know. But it is definitely hurting today. So, same shit. Oh, we can probably fast forward this bit. Okay. It ain't good kids, it ain't good. What about squats? Now I'm only standing over here because I need my heel elevated and there's a little lip on our floor. Yeah, I'm carrying that interesting. Oh. 
Oh, my knees are good. I'm gonna squat today. You know what's really worrying? What's worrying is that I might squat today. My brain tells me that's okay to do. My brain is not very reliable. In case you can't tell, hold on. I'm not in the best mood with it today. So the only hope is to try to get it to dissipate over the next couple of hours and go have a shower. I'm in a podcast this morning with Alice. I'm hoping I do it because I'm wrecked. Um, but I do need to get that episode recorded. But the idea of driving somewhere right now is not high on my list. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning. Oh, hold on, we can use this. This bit's gonna be for the vlog too. So we're doing the damn thing. <laughs> Did decide with Alice, who's clearly so ready for this shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to talk about my problems. <laughs> We, we're gonna start here. How are, how, how are you feeling today, Alice? Stressed. <laughs> Why are you stressed? I'm on the podcast. How are you feeling about being on the podcast? Can you hear my heart rate through the mic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can. <laughs> but, but you sound psychotic. <laughs> okay, so the, the last time we did a podcast was a while ago now. When was the last time we did? You were on one no. with Sam. You were, never, you were gonna be on one and we never did the podcast. No. Brilliant. Sick one. Okay. So, gym time. Decided I'm gonna try and do the damn thing. Back has been very bad today, but I am of the opinion, if I brace hard enough, nothing will hurt. Denial is a beautiful thing. I'm minimizing any additional warm up stuff because it irritates it, and we're just gonna see how squatting the fucking bar goes. Okay, spoiler alert. It hurts. <laughs> so today was supposed to be SSB work, but I am scrapping it entirely. It's too much stress on my side. Learned that lesson the hard way, obviously. But as you can see, we can get into the position manageably. The only thing is the anterior side of my thigh is not working very well. Don't know why. I'm gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sentence. So, let's start warming up. Oh. oh, and I have a one by one paused at five, followed by some reps. I'll keep it conservative today. Feels great. <laughs> if I lie to myself, it will be okay. Oh. Okay. Nah, I can do this. This is gonna be okay. Just wearing a hoodie make me more alpha with my little socks pulled up. I mean, it's 80 kilos, but manageable. Okay. Easy work. Am I shifting? Ooh, oh, that's a lot on camera. <laughs> oh. Minor tweak. It's too fast on the way up on the other one. I was a bit too aggressive. Okay, well, we've got 7% battery, so what we're gonna do is this single, probably leave it here. I don't know. Feeling okay. Feeling maintainable. If I brace hard enough, it's only hurting a little, um, which is fucking great news. And moving through this range is a very good thing. So if this is piss, maybe I'll go up once more, but I don't wanna risk it. I mean, my pause max is like 2.30, so we're being sensible. All right, well, there's no music. Cool, here's what it is. I swear, the lack of music makes that much, much worse. Bye. Bye. Why are you running? <laughs> Just want to talk about it, Lord of Jesus. <laughs> don't get a mess in, please. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, we are going to wrap up this episode now. Only because, as you saw, I managed to squat and I'm actually ecstatic. Now this is going to take a little while till I'm better, but now I know I can squat, it means I can do quite a lot of my training. I'm going to keep doing all of the rehab work, which means I'm going to keep doing all of the extension work, the squats and bodyweight deadlifts, and I'm beaten up, but a whole episode dedicated to an injury, how validated am I? And I just want to kind of show that this shit happens and how you deal with it is literally 
how you get the outcome you're after. There's something I said today, I was being like, you're not injured, you're lazy. Like sometimes you're hurt and you need to do stuff about it and it sucks, but it's the reality. Like right now I'm hurting and it's a bit shitty. Hopefully if I'm consistent with what I do though, I know everything's gonna be all right. Welcome to our home. Um, so that's all for this episode. Hopefully for some of you this is helpful. It gives you an idea that no one's untouchable and real shit happens and sometimes it ruins your day. Like I'm ruining yours. Have a... That was wet. Have a great day. Oh, or don't. See if I care.